What's going on, you guys? Welcome to our travel video for Bebo Wars Coastal Front. I'm gonna be going up to US Airsoft World in Anderson, California for our BB Wars event. It's gonna be one hell of a time, but this time I'm gonna be going with the squad. Oh yes, it's gonna be so damn fun. We're gonna be headed out shortly. It's gonna be one hell of a time. Wait, we didn't pack anything. I packed everything. I got all my gear and my clothes and everything. No, but like our guns, like we didn't pack any of our guns. Oh crap, you're right. Oh shoot. Shadow Wizard Money Gang, we love casting spells. This song is sponsored by the Shadow Government. Legalized nuclear bombs. We have all the guns and gear set up. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. Ah. Mm, mm. I can't lie, the part of the hair is a vibe. I look like freaking Leon looking ass from Resident Evil. Hey, hey, Damn. I love Resident Evil, bro. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. That is not my vibe. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> looking good, though. Yeah, he I know. his tactical gearheads on this bad boy. Uh, he did make a, a, a slight adjustment right there. With that, with that. With the center riser, baby. Mm -hmm. With the magnifier, because, you know, we were shooting at the distance, bro. Yeah, distance, yeah. hey. And he has a unicorn in the barrel. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. Nice. You know, my only regret was not making the barrel longer. Yeah, but now you have the option to remove the suppressor. Oh, uh, you know what? You're right, but hey. I the, mean, honestly, with your thorn tail all the way out there, which you still need to pay for, it, <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of like you made it, so it's going to permanently be there. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, you just want to run that barrel all the way through, but, yeah. but alas. Okay. But alas. Yeah, we have all the guns set up here. It's all in all the gear, swag bags, and everything. Uh, just Isaiah's just over there recording all the actions. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's gonna be one hell of a time. Hold on, I can actually see my screen now. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I got my MG4 in there. Trash. Freaking. Freaking shoot that thing. You're just mad because it looks Gucci. It's too, it's not dressed up enough. No, yeah, I kept it plain this time around. Uh, I didn't want to be running too much gear. So it is what it is. I mean, I have all my tactical builds and stuff, man. So it's like, hey, hey. It's just one of them things. I don't you need, you need access, it. accessories gang. Come on, bro. <laughs> accessories gang. Yeah, bro. but see, then it, it's just too much at points. But it, but it looks so good. With it looks, with, with, which is all dressed up, you it, know? It which does look dolled good. up. Yeah. It does look good, but. I mean, sometimes I just want to be plain Jane. What we should do, challenge for ourselves, we should just run M4A1s with the clamshells. Oh. No accessories. Car 15, can, can, can I just do car 15? No. Oh, uh, you can do car 15, yeah. but no optic. Oh, uh, no. No optic. No. <laughs> yeah. Just plain. Oh. Are you going to run a M4A1 then? Would you run clamshell only? Yeah. No, no optics? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely I would. It would be a challenge for all of us actually. That's not a challenge for me. Oh yeah, for you. <laughs> he is excluded then. Yeah, he's excluded. What? Yeah, he has to run uh, like a super Gucci that one. Yeah. And actually use the, the accessory. The most modern. Give me, give me your G gun. GBRS Hydro Mount. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the most, the cutting edge of modern technology. All right, Victor, we're headed out for BB Wars mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. Make sure you feed the fish. 11.30, they need to go for their walk. All right. But they're fish, so okay. they need to swim. But make sure they go for their walk. Okay. Don't burn the store down, okay? This store has history. You've only been here for a month. We have years here, okay? Okay. All right, we're All right. off. We're on the road. Woo! We're leaving GI with a van full of gear. And sweaty airsoft. And sweaty airsoft. <laughs> Yeah, there's nice. plenty of those already. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're on the way. Uh, it is 11:12, uh, which is a little earlier than uh, we were supposed to leave, which is great. So hopefully we will get up there earlier. We do have to stop for lunch and dinner. All right, say bye to store kids. Say bye. 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 <laughs> so bad. Well, that's what my dad felt like when he left to get milk. <laughs> First stop here on our journey. We're at Zanku Chicken. 
has never had, Cisco has never had Tengu chicken before. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a LA local thing, you know. If you know, you know. But it's the first time. I just always want to see. We all love watching Cisco eat, so gotta do it. First, the uh, hummus. Hummus, the pita. This is probably something we should avoid because, you know, gassy. No, no, no. I'm eating all of No, 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 no. Mm, with the pita? Oh, yes. Nice, subtle flavor. Yes, yes, yes. What is this? The burger icon. This is another dip thing. Yogurt, mm. probably. Or garlic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tzatziki. Mm. No, this is not sweet. Excuse me. It's pretty good. All right, let's try the, uh, the chicken. Yes. Mm. Very well seasoned. Crap in my beard. Mm. What about the beef? Mm. Juicy, tender, delectable. These pickled turnip, turnips, tomato. Mm. Acidic breaks up the fattiness, the savoriness of the meat. Pretty damn good. Uh, I do have to try the rotisserie. Oh uh, yeah. How are we gonna divide this though? Just just pick apart a little section, you know, make sure you get the skin, the best part. I just said off camera that I'm a dark meat man, but this skin, ooh. It's fresh, it's fresh. Oh yeah. Crispy, voluptuous looking. Jeez. I guess I'll just take that whole breast then. So the breast part is white meat. And yeah. And the then dark like, meat is what? The, the thighs, legs. 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 Mm -hmm. Is wings considered dark meat? That's like I was about to ask the same question. I think so. All make right. sure, make sure to put some sauce. On. So need a little bit of that garlic sauce. As you do. As, As you, you do. do. Should I dip it in here too? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Just go for it. Oh Just no! For the garlic, the garlic fell off. All right. Here we go because Boaz likes to watch me walk and eat. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa. Mm. That is piping hot. I will say. The meat is a little dry, but very tender, very well seasoned. The skin is exactly where it's at. Have some of just the skin. Of just the skin? Just the skin. Sauce it up and stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, crispy. This is fresh off the spit. The rotisserie, if you will. What is the beverage of choice today for you? Diet Coke. Nice little palate cleanser. Uh, overall, I'd say it's pretty damn good. I don't know what I would rate it, but in terms of Mediterranean food, it's solid for me. I would highly recommend. Where is this located? I mean, we're in, in, like, in the LA right area. area. <laughs> <laughs> Where we are right now. <laughs> Northridge, California. It's pretty damn good. I thought these came with rice, did they not? A hey, low carb, low carb. I can have rice. I'm counting my macros. So we are in uh, a supermarket right now. I don't know if I could say the brand, but whatever. Uh, we're just getting snacks uh, right after our pilgrimage at, what was the name of the place? Zanku Chicken. Zanku Chicken, delicious, delicious. A little dry, but it was very tasty. Um, yeah, we're just getting snacks, drinks, because we're gonna do the bulk of the drive right now. So we're probably not gonna stop unless we have to use the bathroom or top off on gas. So I should probably use the bathroom right now. Um, you know what, I, I realized uh, that we had hummus. All of us had hummus. So, I'm gonna be farting up a storm, my guy. <laughs> exactly. What are you, you doing? Know and salsa. Yes, absolutely. It's my cheat day. What the hell? Hold that with your mouth. So, uh, which one of these chips are for us? None. What? You bought all the chips just for you? Yeah, absolutely. We got a 10 hour drive. Are you kidding me? We are, what city are we in? I think we're at Kern County. What county? Kern County, past Bakersfield. Okay, yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, getting gas, uh, gonna use the bathroom, top off on top off on anything that we need. Uh, we bought all those snacks that we haven't really ate through yet, so. You have eaten Yeah, that's true. Uh, I 
think we're about like an hour, hour and a half away from Sacramento. So it is uh, almost six. So we're actually making really good time. I think uh, the field is about another hour and a half uh, from uh, from Sacramento. So we should be up there hopefully around nine-ish. Uh, 10 was the time that we were looking at. Are you happy meal? No. Okay. <laughs> no happy meals? You don't like happy meals? Oh, I thought you said, can he get a happy meal? I'm telling him no, that's my child. Can we want no. Happy no. Mom lets me get happy meals. I want a happy meal. Mom said it's turn. Mom <laughs> said it's my turn over the happy meal. I want a happy life, but they don't serve them here. Got me the classic Mickle Dickle sweet tea, large for a dollar. Actually, it was a dollar twenty nine here, so I was pretty upset. Uh, my boy here got a spicy Sprite and uh, and uh, two apple pies. Was it, is it still two for a dollar? Uh, no, it was like something. Uh, eat a dick. I know. <laughs> but, but back on the road, guys. Yes, the best part of our road trips are the delightful, delectable snacks. Cisco, may I have a chippy chip? No. Come on, please. Just like one. What the? <laughs> the best part of our road trips are making sure that you stay within your caloric deficits. The best part of our road trips are the long, couple discussions. Justin, would you like to discuss, discuss with me? Um, of I don't want to talk about geopolitical. No, I don't want to talk about geopolitical things. It's okay. The best part of road trips are the nice meditative silences where you get to reflect on life. The best part of road trips are stopping for food and eating together as one big happy family. Uh, can we get Mexican? No, I want Italian. Fuck Italian. We're getting burgers. What, what the hell? No, I don't chicken want burgers. Alfredo. It's easy. It's too are we heavy. Me? No, the chicken Alfredo is heavy. Are you eating the snacks that are already there. Ah, uh, the best part of our road trips is admiring the natural beauty and the scenery of the open frontier. What are you talking? There's nothing here. It, nothing that way, nothing that way, nothing behind, nothing anywhere. What are you talking about, Boaz? Oh, I'm trying to raise up the camera, trying to raise wanna, up the views and viewers? Just want to thank you guys for watching the video. And make sure you subscribe for more content. And give us a thumbs up because we're trying to reach 1 million subscribers. And don't forget to support us by shopping at airsoftgi.com for all your airsoft needs. Hey, crazy idea. Should we do a road, should we do a tour of different airsoft fields at 1 million subscribers? Yo, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Yes, we are in downtown Sacramento. We are getting some dinner. It is seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top. No, it's a van. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go grab some dinner. Uh, how far away are we from the field? I think about two hours now. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, so we're on the street. We should go back over there. Yeah, come on, come on, adrenaline. What the adrenaline? No, I'm not about to die for, for a video, okay? But, not uh, about that life. What's on the menu? Thai food. So let's see if they have good Thai food in the city of Sac. Damn, we out here. Finally. We out it, here, bro. It only took us 30 we're minutes finally, to find parking. We're finally out here, bro. Now we got a little bit of a walk that way. Ah, uh, tis but a stroll. That is what it is. I hope this, this Thai food better be good. Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm it, blaming you for picking it, this it, it be looking, it be looking oh, cosmopolitan, my guy. It be looking, it be looking updated chic boutique, if you will. Wow, Cisco, what have you done for us this time? I have gotten some pad thai with chicken and something that I have never seen before, a, a crispy fried taro or taro fries. They have this uh, like garlic sweet sauce right here that I'm oh. gonna try out with it. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Nice, sweet, tangy, garlicky sauce. A, uh, with the neutral flavor of taro, which I, you know, I don't really get the taro. Taro does have a predominant flavor, but I think it's- Isn't taro kind of sweet? It is. Uh, I, I was expecting more of like a, uh, like a sweet potato fry, but I think it's just deep fried to all hell. So all I'm really getting is, is like potato chip vibes. Honestly, that doesn't sound good. Pretty good. I burned the hell out of my fingers just now. <laughs> I love that crunch you make when you bite into it. It just sounds so pleasant. And then the pot thai. The main event. Mm -hmm. Let me squeeze the, Ooh. the lemon. Ooh. We're not eating, we're dining. It's a dining experience. Oh, okay. So watching you is a whole ass dining experience, <laughs> I tell you. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> I guess. Right. Gotta get a little bit of the crushed peanuts. Oh, a little bit. Spaghetti twirl? Wow. Of course. We're classy, we're classy out here. Of course, a little bit of the, the bean sprout as well. For a little crunch, a little texture. All right. Bon appetit.
Oh, mm. oh, it is a little on the sweet side. I mean, with the lemon, you do get the tanginess, the savoriness. The uh, bean sprouts and the peanuts add that crunch. I would say this is a pretty good pot thai. Not the best pot thai that I've ever had. But I'd give this like a solid like 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Yeah. My man's eating out here like like it's spaghetti, like it's mom's spaghetti. It's so classy, it's so clean. If you have a fork and you're eating noodles, it's the only way you do it. Oh, I see with my hands. All right, that was uh, quite a delightful din din. Boys, I'm disappointed in you. You chose the second spot. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it was I mid. Mean, you said I mean, eight out of ten. Uh, yeah, but after I, mean, I got a real few... Asian, yeah. <laughs> that pad thai is kind of sweet, bro. It, it was pretty sweet. After after devouring it, I didn't even want to finish the plate. Okay. Anyway, it wasn't so, the worst pad thai. Yeah, but... Okay, but we are headed yeah. back to our cars yep, or boys. our car, and I I'm taking the wheel, baby. Help us. I'm in we're gonna danger. we're gonna open up this pit in the car <laughs> so at 90 so miles an hour. Danger Let's now. go. Let's go, baby. You I ready, Isaiah? You ready? You ready? You cruising for a bruising? I've been ready. <laughs> all right, all right. Who can stop us now? Kill them all! Kill them all! Kill them all! Kill, them all. kill your half! Cut them down! Hey, kill your oh, half! He's oh, right you're Alright, so we are on the road. It's currently 846. Uh, Siri tells me we'll get there in about uh, right under two hours. So easy stretch of the drive. I love just traveling through the void, you know? Nothing around you. And we're just cutting through the void. Don't you mean the warp? Sure, yeah, warp travel, yeah. <laughs> we are but a small speck, vastness of the void. That's pretty nice. Hey, there we go, let's go! You know what? Let's just end the road trip right here because it's just nice. It is about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, we did have to make a uh, pit stop for gas and I gotta take a pee pee so bad. But we're about like an hour away from the destination. Oh man. But uh, yeah, it was, it was really great. Me and Isaiah, thank you Isaiah, by the way, behind the camera for recording course, me and being my, my co-driver, you know, you know, shout out to you. But I, I, I gotta go for you. We made it! And uh, Isaiah has a lot of uh, stress points right here, so if you guys don't know, I have spicy hands. I can really get in there and knead the muscle tissue. Harder. Ah, see, he digs it. He loves I it. Do. I love the pain. He loves the pain. That's right. Here at GI, we love the pain. But uh, Cisco, why don't you tell us uh, how, how the journey's been for you? Well, on other news, uh, <laughs> sea bass and brewery here. They, got, they just checked in. We just arrived. That's right. At the hotel. I forget what hotel this is. is this is, but it is uh, 10:46 uh, p.m. Um, I'm gonna go live in a little bit for a short period of time. We were hoping to get here a little bit earlier, but we did have a few stops, as you guys just saw in the video. Um, do you still giving him a massage? Yeah. Yeah, that feels That's good. Hilarious. Yeah, it's just good. You might need one too, because you probably you probably built up a ton of pressure knots from not exercising, well, not recovering properly after exercise. Because you, you've been going way too hard. I stretch regularly, and I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Thank you. Man. I'm all right. <laughs> all right Cisco's Isaiah, how's, happy. how's your how's your journey up here? It's been quite good, actually, with the exception of a few knots in my neck. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But see, the problem is. A lot of times people identify it as just one thing. So for Isaiah, right, he, he blames this. 
Okay, but no, there's a lot of different. Anyways, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I don't know what else we're gonna do. We do gotta get up to the hotel room, so I'm fairly sure Boaz is gonna show off the room a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be bunking with the three of them, uh, being me, Isaiah, Justin, and Boaz. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you guys in the room. Well, there's our car. And uh, if you look carefully here, look, so look, look at all the bugs. <laughs> yep, yes sir, it's sign of a road trip. Yeah. Wow. Bro, look at, the, look at the texture. It feels like sandpaper. Oh, it feels like sandpaper over here. Look at that. Woo! Makes my skin crawl in like, the okay, happiest bro. way. Boys, we're around. checking in. Come on. Right, okay. 31. Everybody's here. We're, we're, we're all ganged up. <laughs> what is, what's the name of this hotel? Okay. Something. We're all ganged up in here. It's gonna be one hell of a time. We're probably these are probably other people that no, have nothing to do. No, we're it. we're taking over this hotel. It's ours now. This floor is ours. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get, get situated. <laughs> all right, good night. I got a stream right now. We're gonna hit the gym. Oh. Probably stream in the gym. Putting in some work. Show me some of the guns, bro. What kind of guns are you bringing? I haven't pumped. I haven't pumped. What kind of guns are you bringing? Oh, yo, that 22? No. That 22 LR? Oh, yo. <laughs> yeah, my guess. <laughs> yeah, my guess. Hey, hey, what guns are you bringing to BB Wars? 45, baby. Oh, 45. Damn, 45. Damn, damn. What you got? What you got? 45 man? millimeters? No. Oh, oh, oh yeah. What you? Got right. it? I'm more of a. I'm more of a. Yo, that 50? A, a, 50? a 308 man myself. Oh, 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 respect, a 338 respect. Lapua, if I, if you will. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Don't, 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 don't forget about the, the 45. <laughs> yo, hey, yo. Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't, whole... don't forget about that 4570 hey, government right this there. This is a, this is a whole turkey <laughs> leg right here, my boy. Yeah, that, that's what I'm packing. That's what I brought to BB Wars. Yeah, they, they see a 300 blackout right there. 300 blackout right there? It's silent, baby. Silent action right there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're on the hallway right now. We're taking over this hotel. We're taking over this gym. All right. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put in some work, baby. We're gonna turn this this mid hotel gym. We're turning to the signature airsoft GI jailhouse gym, baby. You're gonna see how what it's about. <laughs> If we can find the gym, we will ask the receptionist politely and nicely. Unfortunately, it turns out the gym does not in fact exist. We got catfished uh, when we looked at the, the hotel. Uh, when we booked the hotel online weeks in advance, yeah, we got catfished. So I, I brought all my workout clothes. I brought this I brought this super hard looking ski mask for nothing. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll try to bench or deadlift Cisco. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll PR. Who knows? Dude, I feel like I have no purpose. I have no drive, no purpose. I know. I have to feed. I have to feed these puppies. I have, I have to feed them. I don't want to feed them. Who, 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 what do I feed them? Welcome to the Airsoft GI Jailhouse Gym. Fortunately, the Jailhouse Gym doesn't exist. We got catfished. So instead, we're gonna modify these workouts. Start introducing calisthenics. All right, power movements. We're gonna focus on power today, baby. We're gonna. Smash, get that pump going on in our hotel room instead. That's real jailhouse style, baby. Welcome to the jailhouse gym, Cisco. Today we have a whole program for you. So, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a comprehensive upper body calisthenic based on power, low rep, but high weight. Do push ups, okay? We're gonna do four sets of push ups at a comfortable rep range, and we're gonna get that upper body flowing and going. Okay. All right, yeah, you're when you're exercising, any kind of exercise, whether it's cardio, Weightlifting, powerlifting, strongman training. Start with dynamic stretching. Get the blood flowing into your muscles to avoid injury, especially long term or acute injuries. So here at the Jailhouse Gym, we're given 100, not 100%, not 90%. We're given 110% every time we're at the Jailhouse Gym. Elbows tucked in, going down, right? Yes. Try, try a, try a female push-up first with the knees on the ground to get the form. Upper body, just just see how you can do it. So get it right. Yes. Correct. 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 Go a little lower. Bring your chest down to the ground. To the ground, baby. Yeah, that's a no. Right, my arms try, your, try your hardest. My arms still bent. Okay. All right. That hard. Okay. And if you're feeling gas, just just stop because we got we got more we got more sets in coming. All right, Isaiah. Let's see that proper form. Nice full arm. Nice full arm extensions. There we go, there we go. Look at that, upper body, completely rigid. Legs, straight out. Elbows, tucked in to his body. Head is up, allowing for a proper flow of air to continue the reps. Now again, I must remind you, Isaiah, focus on the power coming up, push up, as 
hard as you can. Off the ground. That's how you build power. So, it'll so show us proper form. Yes, for proper form. Executing proper form. Head up. Tucking your body elbows into your body. Your butt's supposed to be more tucked in. That's just that's literally his cake. Oh, that. <laughs> that's that's literally his cake, dude. I'm not joking. That's literally how much he, how much he he's packing. That's hilarious. It's the whole bakery. Right? All right. That was the first set of close grip push-ups. Now cut the camera. The next iteration of push-ups for this jailhouse gym power hour are gonna be wide grip push-ups. So we're gonna take our hands, take it, bring it one to two shoulder width, uh, hand length apart from your shoulders. You're gonna flare your elbows at 90 degree angle and come out. Again, we're focusing on power. So you're focused on the pushing up motion. Okay. Okay, low reps, high weight, baby. There you go, pow, pow. Yeah, go a little lower. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Look at that proper depth. <laughs> All right. That's a good set. So, Cisco, how do you feel right now on a level of one to ten for being pumped? Like a two. Oh, then we can certainly keep going. Power up. Yes. Yes. Good luck out. Good luck out. Good luck out. Oh, depth. A little lower this time. A little more lower. Yes. Yes. Next, we're doing core. So, many gym goers and athletic people suffer from is a weak core. A lack of core strength will end up to future problems such as lower back pain, hip pain, overall mobility and bodily pain. As you can see, Cisco is going balls to the wall, given his 110%. I need support on my feet. 110%. Knocking out these setups like it's no one's business. In the jailhouse gym, we do workouts together. We do not work out alone. Or at least sequentially. Which is kind of the same thing. <laughs> We're alone, but together. Together alone. It can be simultaneous or sequential. We'll make sure we're all on the same page. We are doing it together. We're in it together. At the jailhouse gym. All in this together. Do not sing copyrighted material okay. on this YouTube video. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us for this nearly canceled, but prevailing. Airsoft GI jail time workout. Now, if you don't mind, we're gonna take off the clothes. Go to sleep. That's a no. I'm no on the clothes part. <laughs> By the way, just FYI, I just want to clarify. I was already gassed coming into this, so it is what it is. But no, good Cisco on did a really good job. Cisco good did a fantastic job. I embarrassed myself, but he trust has, me, he never fails to impress me. In a good like, he's making immense progress. Seven very, days. Very I'm proud gonna, of him. I'm gonna get there. He's being self-conscious right now because all he has to go off of are people. Reuted up people, juiced up people on social media. <laughs> Do not listen to those lies. They're all lies, a facade, if you will. Make sure to only compare yourself to yourself and check on the progress you've made thus far. Just got a, a quick little workout with uh, Boaz's guidance. Thank you again, Boaz. No, thank you. You um, 110% effort always impresses me. Yeah, I try. Um, yeah, it's uh, about 12.30 now. We gotta wake up at 5.45, so we're about to get like five hours of sleep for BB Wars. Good weekday. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day for sure. I, like seeing everybody in the in the hotel room, I'm I'm hyped. It's gonna be a blast. Um, Are they all Empire? I have no idea, honestly. I think maybe. Uh oh. I have no idea. Nice. But still, uh, the rebels still outnumber the Empire. But it is what it is. Either way, it's gonna be a good day of fun of BB Wars. <laughs> um, yeah, so we gotta wake up early. We gotta get to the field early. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of getting some rest and uh, uh, just living off of that pump throughout the night. Correct. <laughs> yeah, so we have four guys, four big guys, yeah, and they. Awesome. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my ass just like. Yeah, so okay, enough, enough, enough. enough. We're all yeah. on the floor. Yeah, so we. Uh, uh, yeah, all of us are in here. Uh, I have my CPAP machine on. Oh uh, yes. As for BB Wars World Chip tradition. I wish it wasn't a tradition, but. <laughs> why? Why are you naked? Sorry. Why, 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 why the door's locked? Time to go to bed. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Hey, there it is. <laughs> yeah. General grievous cybernetic looking ass. <laughs> You're just mad because you ate me. Cyberpunk 2077. Yo, they, they hate us because they ate us.
I just want to say thank you guys for supporting us here at Airsoft GI, whether it be subscribing and watching our videos or going to airsoftgi.com for all your airsoft needs. One of the things that we're really big on is giving back to you, the airsoft community. It's because of you, we are able to do what we do. If you haven't heard, over the past couple of years, we've given back to the airsoft community in the form of our live stream giveaway, where we've given away tens of thousands, if not over $100,000 in prizes and Airsoft GI store credit. We've helped hundreds of airsofters fulfill their wildest airsoft dreams, and we want you to be the next big winner. So if you want to participate in our live stream giveaway, all you have to do is make an order at airsoftgi.com. As long as your order is $20 or greater, you will automatically be entered. And that's for any product that we have available, whether it's one product or across multiple products. As long as your order is $20 or greater before shipping and taxes. Now, the next step, which is probably the most important step, is to make sure that you tune into our live stream giveaway every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you are not there to claim the prize, you will not be able to claim it later. And the unclaimed prizes will get stacked onto the following live stream giveaway for an even larger prize pot. We do this to give other people the chance to win big. So it's very important that you make sure you tune in. Now, if you happen to miss the deadline for the live stream giveaway, don't worry because your name will be added to the following live stream giveaway. So you'll still have your chance to win, but it's very important that you are there to claim the prize. So make sure you tune into the live stream giveaway. As airsofters, we understand that getting your dream airsoft setup can be expensive and can feel impossible. So this is our way of saying thank you for supporting us. And we wanna help you achieve your airsoft dreams. And we're rooting for you. And we hope that you are the next big live stream giveaway winner.